Alrighty, well, good evening everybody. Well, I thought I'd showcase this uh, new team here that DJ Screw showed me. Um, but before I get too into it, um, like I usually do, I'll have some music in the background. This time around, it's going to be Arcane Allies, uh, Sun Ra Oscillations. So, kind of a, kind of a combination of uh, rock and electronica. I keep thinking like the, the kind of music you'd hear in like street racing games and stuff like that. It's just first thing that comes to mind. But it, it's stuff I've been rocking out to right now. Sounds pretty cool. So let me go and get that fired up. Okay, so this uh, new group, uh, I call it Skull Falls. It's a working title. I couldn't think of anything better. Now, after playing this for a while, or excuse me, after playing this for a bit, um, this is very much a feast or famine team. It's a it's a team that works great until it doesn't. So, but but basically, a little little bit of history. Um, during my, during one of my recent streams, he asked me if I had the possessed king. Now, by default, whenever um, whenever I hear oh this troop is like totally awesome, it'll rock out the content or something like that. My default answer is, I probably ain't got it. Well, this is one of those uh, rare miracles, which I actually do have them. So, I guess uh, for those that were around, and let, let me remember, I'm trying to find it. For those who were around during my uh, Turnip Crew uh, video, kind of the same thing. I think neither me nor DJ Screw realized that, hey, I got Flaming on I. Wow, wait. So, so we. Made a team out of them, well, Skull Falls, same thing. Um, he asked me if I had the Possessed King, I'm probably not. But lo and behold, there he is. So, uh, he went ahead and brought up this team and checked it out. Again, I got a, I have an iffy opinion, but um, he kind of said too, it's more of a, it's more of a fun novelty team, and I kind of agree. But let me, uh, let me show the skeleton of this. Uh, Wrath. And this was something else I forgot to mention too. This is one of those rare teams where the traits that they have are just as important, if not more so, than their abilities. Most other teams I have, I can find it. Like say, King Gob Truffle comes to mind. I mean, Spore, other than Spore Cloud, I mean, not much else here. Uh, I mean, Goblin Shaman. I mean, don't care much for the trades. That's the reason I got him. You know, whoops. But no, not Skull Pulse. One of the biggest things that makes this team work are the traits. You know, the big one, Cataclysm. You know, you explode two random gems when I match skulls. This is a big one, Burning Fury. Transform them blue to brown and yellow to skulls. So, in that context, that ability there is kind of in line with uh, these. My skulls are us team. Kind of works the same way. Turn purple to red, brown to skulls. You know, red to skulls, green to yellow, etc., etc. Find them. So, but yeah, works kind of the same way. And if you've seen my last video, you'll know about this. Doom Glaive converts brown gems to Doom Scar. Deals deals damage to all enemies. Uh, converts brown to brown gems to Doom Skulls. So we got another one. And that also starts a uh, starts a Leaf Storm as well. And we got Possessed King. explode two random gems on four or five matches so it's it's like I just it's like I said the traits on this team are just as important or, and I think in this the case of this guy more important dark possession I not a not a big fan of the ability it deals damage to all enemies boosted by demons you can you can transform somebody into a demon but it just, it's into, our, the Demon Chosen is random. 
So if it was like, say, That was it. So if it was somebody like Yarmel, <laughs> good luck. Pretty much all is then, because this is a. Uh, I might talk more about it later, but one big weakness this team has, because this uh, team relies so heavily on traits, it is very susceptible to stunts. So. Transforming that enemy into a Nyarmel, you're gonna be hosed. So, yeah. Uh, the boss has no idea. Oh. Man, my keyboard keeps glitching. I'm only push I'm only tapping a key one time, but it's like double tapping on me. So, but, so yeah, like I said, the ability isn't that impressive. Maybe if I wanted to finish off enemies or something. Uh, Dark Covenant, I guess. But uh, with this kind of team here, like a lot of my other teams, I have to have all of my members intact in order to really, in order to, be, in order to, how do I put this? Just to be able to do anything, I need them, I need my whole entire team intact, especially at the very start of a match. So, envy, only 25%. But again, the big one here, Unstable possession. Uh, Skilla. It creates a bone storm out of four or five gem matches. It means uh, more bones or more skulls are going to drop than other colors. Um, kind of the same thing here. <laughs> Damage the last enemy. 25%. Chance to instantly kill him. Percentage chances don't do much for me. Submerging everybody. Maybe, but if it got to that point, especially with this team here, if it got to that point where my my uh, my opponents like dealing their dealing damage to all of us all the time, then that's that's beginning of the end right there. So it might come in handy. So the the main combo, though, as you probably guess, um, the main goal is to try to find skull matches. And uh, four and five matches, you know, find a skull match. It explodes to uh, two random gems. You know, and on four and five matches, it explodes two more, two more gems. So you could, uh, if everything goes right, you, you could trigger a huge waterfall of skulls. Yellows and browns. Almost got it going. So if you if, if you can kind of see, every time I make a skull match, it blows up to uh, random gems somewhere. That ability is up, but uh, just like with a lot of my other teams, you only really want to cast that when the combination of uh, blue and brown and yellow and skulls results in at least a four match. Um, probably more than other teams, it has to remain my turn because this guy here, he is no tank. And especially when doing these uh, Explore 12 runs that I've been doing, just with the kind of, kind of damage they're doing, he's dead in two hits. So...
yeah, not having much luck so far. Well, like I said, it's a feast or famine. Okay, so now the glaive is up. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I got a five match right here. Well, this board's being real stingy. Oh, almost got going. button. But again, you're looking for uh, skulls, browns, and yellows. And purely for demonstrative purposes, let me re-rack the board. Be able to gotta be able to entangle that guy on the top. So, but like I said, Wrath, he is not a tank. So. And he's also frozen too. So. There we go. No, still didn't last long. Yeah, that's what it can do. Well, the glaive's up. it again I'm uh I'm used to my glaive being at the at the bottom of the list so I have this really nasty habit of hitting L1 and X and bringing her up accidentally casting her and still nothing ain't working out so good but once again sorry to sound like a broken record but this is a feast and famine team right here or feast or famine excuse me there we go but um at best um i could see me playing this uh, team fairly consistently in PvE, like what I'm doing right now. But uh, 
if it got to a point where I'm getting really tired of uh, Wrath getting killed in like one or two hits, I might actually, I might end up actually getting forced to ship down to, I probably say difficulty six. You know, make the battles half as easy. But uh, PvP, uh, unless I get super lucky, uh, it's basically a no-go. And um, after this match, I think I will try doing a PvP one. boss battle. Um, let me go ahead and hold off on that. Oh, and that's something else too. Yeah, I was explicitly explicitly told to do this. Usually I just leave my badges the way they are. Okay, the game's got to freeze up momentarily. It, it does this. Normally, I have uh, all three medals of Orpheus. Yeah, 10% chance to Clean your guys, clench your guys when your turn starts, but he was saying, and I totally agree with him, yeah, you're going to need your guys to start out with 20% mana. But yeah, like, but like I do with Elementalists, I steer clear of the Elementalists. They'll shut me down quick. Uh, let's try this one. That's good. Shut the top guy down. He ain't though. So you want to look at blowing to brown as well? Uh. Yeah, that'll get rid of that skull match. Got lucky there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna steer clear of this one mainly because, like a lot of, like a lot of my other teams, they uh, they also have to be able to stay put in their positions. Uh, Dust Devils will knock your team around. So, yeah. I'm kind of above the... I'm above these kind of groups here. I only fight these when I absolutely have to. Like, if I'm on a bad losing streak. I guess I'll do this one here, because... The most damage this guy's going to do is uh, 40. So, I'll be able to survive a little bit longer. But again... I, when PvPing, I normally stay away from those uh, low tier groups. Just, 
I don't like picking on the little guy. Like I said, this this is a team that works great until it doesn't. And uh, I'll probably call this my last battle right here. Well, that didn't last long. It's official. You suck. Yes, indeedy. Okay. It's official. God. You suck. Wrong one. Hey, I got a malfunction on my end. Okay, there it goes. Stuff froze up. Okay, so that so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. I just wanted to do this little video on this uh, new team that I got. So, so but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.